is going on guys and welcome back to another tutorial today we're going to be going over on how to uh, fix mod kits um, as you guys know if you guys are a customer of mine um, you guys know I use quite a lot of mod kits because um, they're pretty useful for about anything with modeling um, in GTA 5 um, and just like lights um, with their cargo ID there is a ID for the mod kits as well um, and what you guys need to understand is that the system works off of a binary number um so if you put um 690 um that's going to be the same as you know like 246,000. so there's really only numbers from one to 1000 to use um or maybe it's one through 100 i'm not exactly sure but it's it's a very small amount um so making the number larger does not change anything I would just stick between 1 and 1,000 when dealing with mod kit IDs, I mean, personally. But obviously, the first issue you guys have run into um, is if you were told the car has mod kits or if you go into your um, vehicle, you'll go and you'll go in the stream folder and you'll see a mod kits folder up here and it will have all these YFTs and it won't be the uh, vehicle name. It will just be, you know, whatever mod kit it is. But let's say you go in game, you just bought the model. You go through V-Menu. I'm not sure what any other menu you guys can use. I think you can also go to Los Santo Custom. Um, pretty sure. And toggle these on. So if they're not at a Los Santos Customs. Or if they are not in a V-Menu. Which all you got to do to get there is to go to Vehicle Options. Mod Menu. And you'll see them here. And you can see they toggle stuff off. If I can find something that's easy to show. So here is the logo for the FPIU. And you can see it's working. But if it is not working... Um, you basically just will not have any of these um, different things to toggle. It will just kind of, I think, I believe, start at the wheel type. And you just want anything to toggle. Um, so the only way to fix this is to simply do what you do with car IDs and change the ID. So obviously we don't have an issue. But if we did, we would go to the car file of the vehicle or item or whatever has mod kits. And obviously you would start at the very top. And we would scroll all the way down to where these sirens end. And you'll see where this starts. And you'll see kits. And you'll see kit name. And you'll see a number. And then whatever the mod kit is named. And then a secondary number. So like I said, between 1 and 1,000 is personally what I would stick to. So if this is 710, we could try um, 690. And change it up here as well. And then we need to go to the car variations of that same vehicle and just scroll down a couple scrolls. You should find the same thing here. Um, if these don't match, um, which obviously they were before, before we changed the number. Um, if those didn't match, that was more than likely your issue. Um, but obviously, hopefully that was not the issue and you just got to change the number. So we have 710 uh, here. We're going to change this to 690. And that's it. So it's, like I said, identical to a car ID. Um, it's just kind of in different places. Um, and all we got to do is restart the car, um, either in-game or do a full server restart. Uh, I will say this. If you're restarting a car in-game, make sure you either delete the vehicle or uh, get out of the vehicle and fly far away. Because when you restart the vehicle, it is going to crash someone uh, like in the general vicinity of it. Um, if you restart the vehicle while you're in game, so don't do that. But all you would do is continue to change the ID until it works. Um, and personally, when I'm changing my kit IDs, I restart the server and load back in because um, it's it confirms that it's going to work. Um, but that is how you guys that's how you guys change my kit IDs. That's how you get my kits to work. And I hope this video helps you guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.